I'm Jigo Crochet and in today's video I'll be taking you along with me to my first Christmas market of 2023. So this isn't my first ever Christmas market, but it's my first one this year. <laughs> Look how wintry it is. It's so pretty. So this is where I'm having my market. It's at the Crescent Heights uh, Community Association or Community Center or whatever. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. This place is so cool. There's like an outdoor ice rink, which I don't remember this being here last year because I did a market, Christmas market here last year. Um, sorry, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> but normally I do markets downtown. That's like over there. But it looks so pretty. Just have to bring my table up. <laughs> There's a big Santa. So, can you come in? I have to bring everything up there. But otherwise, so I'm gonna be right there. There's like a whole area down here. So, this is the fifth annual Crescent Heights Christmas market. Um, this is the second one I'm doing. I did it last year. That was my first ever Christmas market. So this is my second ever Christmas market. Actually, yes, it, yeah, my second ever Christmas market that I've done. So pretty excited. I'm doing one next weekend too. Not here, but it's gonna be a cuties one. So after we come up this stairwell, we have over here, there's gonna be a table here, which I'm a little worried about because it seems like it might get kind of congested. But there is another area to come up on the other side. But I think there's supposed to be nine vendors up here. So, hi, there's Lou Nerly. <laughs> so here's my setup. I love the windows behind here, but I feel like this is the most full my table has looked in a while, <laughs> which is probably good because Christmas markets tend to do pretty well. Have sunny angel clothes here, my bear hats, keychains, tons of frogs. I made these really cute penguins. I'm gonna make more, um, but I forgot my crochet bag, but my mom's gonna bring it. So yeah, because I also have to put uh, price tags on these. They are $18, but I have some other stuff like a Kirby and some bunnies and stuff that I don't have price tags for, so. I think it's very important to have them shown because a lot of people are too afraid to ask, which is totally fair. Um, oh, my swampy monster. He's 130, so I also have to put a price tag on him as well. Uh, I put him down here because I felt like it was harder to see him up here. I moved my ditto up here. He used to hide under here, but I felt like people just didn't even notice him, so. People notice him more when he's up here now, which is pretty good. And still have all of my ghosts left over from my Halloween market that didn't do that great, but I don't know how long I'll have those for. Yeah, looks very full now. right next to Tina but she has somebody helping her so but this is her table so cute oh my gosh I love I love her weirdos they're so cute <laughs> so this market goes from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. so it's a six hour market um, I made my first sale I sold one of the mini Gudetamas they look like this. They're only $15. This is a pattern I made myself. I might make a, I don't know, I might write up the pattern when I have time, but it's really cute. He has butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, just like a little desk Gudetama. I have people playing the trumpets, but it's like over there. There's like a stage over there, down downstairs, <laughs> but I can't see them from here. But it's pretty, pretty cool. And 
This is the main entrance. There's a coffee stand. And these windows are really nice. It brings in like a lot of natural light, which I really like. I got a donut <laughs> from Tim Hortons. Uh, they were handing out donuts to the vendors, so I grabbed the chocolate one, which is my favorite, the chocolate cake donut. Hey, Santa's here. Santa's here. <laughs> Hi, Santa. <laughs> Some people got a frog in their throat, you got a hole. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I had two mushrooms. I had a green one and a red one. And actually, did I? No, I had three mushrooms. I had two red and a green, and I sold them. So I guess I'm making more mushrooms. The pink and the blue duck, or penguin, and one of these like regular colored penguins sold. So I'm making more penguins now, but. Honestly, I didn't expect the mushrooms to sell at the Christmas market, but yeah, that's that's just kind of shows how random things can be sometimes. So I made a purple one. As some of you might have seen, I put stickers all over my square reader. So this sticker is from Lunarly, this middle one here, who is right across from me and she's so sweet. She gave me like the newer one. So this was the cherry blossom one that she came out with like I think it was like in March or I don't actually remember but it was like quite a while ago but it was just so cute and she gave me the new one oh my gosh so I have it on both sides now <laughs> so cute also just finished a blue penguin because the other blue one sold so currently I'm making a pink one just finished making a pink one you look so pouty and cute I love it this mirror, this mirror is angled perfectly where I can see a weirdo. It's like, I just, I just look across and it's like right there. <laughs> just finished making this sparkly pink uh, mushroom and I already sold the purple mushroom that I made. So I guess the mushrooms do well too. I don't know, whatever. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a blue penguin and yeah, we'll see how much time I have after that. And this is the last item I made. It's another blue penguin. So I just have the pink one. There's only like about 15 minutes left of the market. So that's the last item I'll make today. So this is what's down below. This is where Santa was, and they also had people performing, like two girls sang, there was somebody playing the piano, there was like a band for a while, but yeah, there was a lot of cool things. Oh yeah, because there was a, there's I think like a guy that does lessons or something, so some of his students were performing. The aftermath. <laughs> the penguins did really well. Surprisingly, the mushrooms too. I don't know why, but hit or miss. Random, random things. <laughs> I, <laughs> I made two Kirby's, but I actually didn't sell any, which is kind of surprising because usually these do really well. Um, oh, I sold one Dragon Ball, which, nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have another market next weekend, so I'm pretty glad that I didn't like sell out, otherwise I would be so stressed. Um, I also surprisingly didn't sell any bear hats, but you never know, maybe the next market they'll do well, but that is a first, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But, oh, I also sold one of these. 
bears, which the gold ones don't do well, which I, I mean, I can understand. I want to make more brown ones. I'm kind of lacking on my keychains at the moment, but it's okay. I only have one strawberry. <laughs> and my froggies, I sold a few of these guys, but these ones were definitely the best ones. Okay, I have everything packed up. Oh my god. As you can see, it is dark outside. And it's 5.38 p.m. Santa's killing it. And yeah, it looks so pretty like downtown at night. But so cool. It's pretty nice outside right now. Okay, so it's like a few days later. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to show you some really cute pins that I got from the market from Lunarly Art Emporium. Oh my god, will it focus? I don't know if it'll focus. These ones focus better. Oh, maybe not. There we go. <laughs> and then this one. So this is like a little, oh, it's kind of like a Gudetama or just a little egg dude. These ones, I think it's just a fox. I'm not actually sure. And then a Mew. A little Mew. Pokemon. Um, she like dropped these. <laughs> and then she was like, do you want them? Because she, she just, like we were packing up at the end of the market and they like fell out of, uh, I think one of her cases or something. And she's like, do you want them? Cause she just didn't want to bother putting them back so i was like sure i'll take them i'll promote them i don't mind it <laughs> so i have these cute little pins she makes all the art herself so she drew these this is all of her designs definitely check her out on instagram because her art is so so cute i have a lot of her things i have mostly stickers <laughs> but yeah they're really cute Thank you so much for joining me uh, for this Christmas market vlog, I guess. Uh, I have another market this coming Saturday, so I'll put out another Christmas market vlog. Um, this market was my second Christmas market ever, and uh, it did pretty well. I would say, because I've done this exact market a year ago, and a year ago it did do better, but I mean... What are you gonna do? Markets are always different every year, so whatever. But I honestly just, I genuinely love, oh god, I hate to say it's like the vibes of the market, <laughs> but it it's always, I don't know, it's just so wholesome. Like everybody is just really nice and so supportive. And I love that they have a Santa Claus every year and it's the same Santa Claus that was there last year. <laughs> um, it, I remember last year he would tell like random jokes and he kind of did that this time too, which was really funny. Another thing that I really liked about this market is that the like entry fee was either a $2 donation to the food drive or you could bring like, um, what is it, like canned food or I forget what the word is, but food that like doesn't expire. So non-perishable food items. Yeah. You could bring non-perishable food items or a toonie, which is what we call our $2 coin, uh, to donate in order to, like, enter the market, I guess. Uh, but from what I heard last year, they didn't really, like, they weren't being really strict about it or anything. Like, they weren't just gonna, like, tell somebody that you couldn't enter the market if they, like, didn't bring that. Um, but I still think it's it's a really nice way to kind of give back to the community, especially during the holidays uh, when not everybody can, you know, buy their own things. So I, I did really like that. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, next week's video will be my last market vlog. It's another Christmas market, obviously. Uh, but it'll be my last market vlog of 2023. And I really thankful for everybody who's subscribed and has started following me this year 
um, or I guess in like the past few months. Uh, I do have some other videos that I want to come out with that aren't like market videos because I don't know when my next market will be. But I'm really excited about them and yeah, subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram for more updates and everything because when I'm on my break, I will have way more time to crochet. Whereas when I'm in school, it's it takes up a lot of time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!